Welcome to Bespoke Diaries, today's article is on, Bridging Worlds, by Maxime Lubbers, Capital Lead, Humane Technologist, TEDx Speaker, Netherlands. Maxime was born and raised in Delft, part of a very entrepreneurial family. Her family taught her to work hard and to pursue things with a positive and can-do attitude. Her mom has always been her inspiration teaching her that whether you are a man or woman, you always need to be able to take care of yourself, emotionally, mentally, and financially. She was always encouraged to show resilience if things did not go well on the first try. She would say that her journey has been a unique blend of a passion for both people and technology. When she was younger, she always wondered why she had such broad interests and in high school when she had to choose what courses to pick, she chose everything including math, science, and physics but also foreign languages like English, German, and economics. While she felt pretty lost at school, she also had a lot of energy and passion for sports, but she was not as good in field hockey or tennis as she wished. This pretty much changed when she started rowing in college. Finally, she found a sport where her energy and passion resulted in proper outcomes. In Amsterdam, she not only worked on her academic skills but also discovered the transformative power of collaboration during her competitive rowing competitions. The experiences she had in both the Netherlands and the United States shaped her perspective, highlighting the significance of being curious about where someone else is coming from before embarking on any endeavor. Rowing, a lesson in collaboration rowing taught her invaluable lessons about teamwork, emphasizing the need for synchronization and having an open mind among the eight individuals in the boat. Balancing hard work, dedication and collaboration became second nature as we navigated the waters together. The intricate dance of rowing mirrored the delicate balance required in the professional world. We often forget that everyone lives their own lives, also beyond work, and she cannot stress enough how important it is to always connect with people before you dive into the content. However, working in tech one of the best ways to connect is over content. Lessons from America, how the Netherlands is a way smaller country but with a much bigger dialogue, whereas Amsterdam was already much bigger and more cosmopolitan area than Delft, rowing in the USA provided her with a broader perspective on the world. Virginia where she rowed and studied was literally three times bigger than the country she grew up in, which made her realize the uniqueness of her upbringing. As we have fewer people in the Netherlands, we have more room for discussion and dialogue. In the USA every day was a seat race, every day her teammates and she would be placed in different seats in the boat to challenge us and see what combinations would row the fastest. She remembers asking her coach why she had to change seats and him replying with a shut up and do as she says. As there were so many women in the team, he mentioned to her he couldn't explain what he was doing to everyone as this just took up too much time. She missed the discussions she had with her coaches in the Netherlands and later realized that she had to use the best of both worlds, the rigorous work ethic of the Americans and the open-mindedness of the Dutch. This became a guiding principle in her professional life. Academic pursuits, unraveling the intersection of business and technology, besides rowing twice a day, she studied Beta Gamma at Science Park in Amsterdam. This study was entirely focused on approaching societal issues from interdisciplinary perspectives as it is believed that we can no longer solve them with just one discipline. She loved this program as it enabled her to combine her passion for both people and technology within the same studies. It was not always easy considering the technical courses she was following but being able to discover what the impact of physics, science, logic, and astronomy were on how people behave has been extremely interesting. After completing her bachelor's, she pursued social innovation courses in the USA. Two subsequent master's degrees followed in entrepreneurship and digital business. Her fascination with the motives behind corporate pursuits led her to explore the potential of blockchain technology, a catalyst for transparency and trust in various sectors. Considering the amount of technology around us she believed that she had to continue in this space. Especially as a woman, as there are still way fewer women in tech, she felt this would be the space where she could create and seize opportunities being someone that also really cares about people and the planet. 
Daring to make choices early on in her career created a lot of opportunities and a steep learning curve. Under the mentorship of the European blockchain lead at Capgemini, she graduated with a focus on blockchain technology. She joined Accenture later as technology strategy consultant, delving further into the world of emerging technologies and their impact on society. As a consultant, she acquired the skills to analyze situations, identify real problems and formulate solutions. Her passion for understanding complex issues and her luck of finding technology intriguing at the same time aligned seamlessly with her role. As she joined Accenture, she decided that she wanted to be known for her expertise in blockchain. Some fellow juniors were often surprised by her dedication, but she has only seen over time that if you dare to take a decision and be known for something this is only creating opportunities for you. People start associating you with a topic and share interesting articles and events with you, supporting you in a very steep learning curve. Changing Gear How she navigated her journey on the intersection of people and technology, after almost four years at Accenture, she realized that a lot of the research and strategy work she was doing for F500 organizations focused mainly on how emerging technologies like blockchain and AI can be used to grow, scale, save costs and become more efficient. As she learned more on the technologies and became more aware of the unintended consequences of technical designs on people and planet, she decided to change directions and quit her job. As she also conducted academic research and was keen to discover how we can support leaders in becoming aware of these unintended consequences she gladly took on the opportunity to provide a novel perspective on responsible technology leadership on the TEDx night of the University of Amsterdam. She came up with a framework, named FOMO 2.0, that can support leaders in making more responsible decisions when implementing new technologies. Academic milestones, from Harvard to setting up her own company and receiving an EU research grant, transitioning from a technology strategy consultant to scientific research enabled her to explore the intersection between people and emerging technologies from a different angle. She realized that she started to operate more in line with her values, which makes your work so much more fun. While working for various leaders in large global organizations she saw how they were often driven by a fear of missing out as competitors moved quicker with emerging technology. Without realizing what the actual problems were they wanted to resolve they hopped on the hype cycle train. By combining her open mindset and collaborative skills that she obtained early on she saw the importance of translating technology into stories that people with less time or less technical background would get. Her dedication to understanding and translating complex technological concepts for those without a technical background became the vocal point of her career. Her journey continued with scientific research on what existing organizations need to implement an identity-challenging technology like blockchain or AI. She got to present the findings at Harvard University and recently secured a €250,000 grant for EU research on the impact of new digital technologies on humanity and the climate. This marked a milestone and has shown her that pursuing a job that fulfills you and taking calculated risks on what you want to work about ignites your passion and energy, which supports you in becoming successful. Maxime set up her own company to share her stories in keynotes, trainings, and workshops for big organizations. She feels comfortable doing so as she knows that she is her own story marked by an unyielding drive to explore new frontiers. She finds immense energy in the pursuit of knowledge and the narratives it weaves. From rowing, and many other sports, to unraveling the mysteries of blockchain and AI, her journey is a story about her passion for people and technology. As she continues to explore the uncharted territories at the intersection between humanity and innovation, she looks forward to bridging worlds and shaping a future where we consciously use technology as a catalyst for positive change. If this is inspiring to you, feel free to add her on LinkedIn and follow more about her journey and the research she is doing. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For similar type of article please reach us at contact at thebespokediaries.com or you can visit our website www.
thebespokediaries.com.